If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It already says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is a community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash and sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch indeed. A child should lead them. To buy our merch. Yes, dear our, listener. Yes, dear listener. Our next DJ. Well, no, it's not DJ. <laughs> the selector next... of this song <laughs> is Kai. Kai! So the name of the band is Stamina. Uh, and... Then you want to try to <laughs> We've done a, stab at that. a stamina song before. Yes. Uh, have, I got I this little cough. Stamp, so. <laughs> I got this little cough. Holy smoke. Uh, the timestamp is 145. 50, 54. Okay, guys. Here we go. This is for the big homie Kai. The band's name is Stamina. And we have the... They're, they're not an English band, which is awesome. We have the, the, the lyrics translated from english from a trusted source they're going to be the right hand of the of the it's, screen the kai says it's a play on words it means new demands of the ruler while the other one means the ruler's new clothes like that in the fairy tale oh the, the emperor's new clothes okay yep. okay i see i see okay big homie kai and the name of this band is stamina and the name of this song is uh unpronounceable to my horrible english what, what is it again Right here. under what eats. Sorry, guys. It's the best I could do. Here we go. It sounds serious. Oh, they're rocking! Holy shit! Go ahead, brother minister. Turn that shit up. Damn. Go ahead, brother minister.
Hey! Okay, got some melody. Got some melody, some harmony. Okay, Brother Minister. that song i love that song i wish i was a native uh speaker of that is it finnish <laughs> finland <laughs> shout out to finland gang 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 yeah go ahead the where beginning you going? of a, remind me of game of thrones really a naked critic was made to march down the street scarred tattooed but game singing of thrones upstream. yeah remember when they had her the walk of shame oh 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 oh, oh, oh. yeah that, yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Was traumatizing even children are spitting, inflicting shame. He is sweating and climbing the hill up like a horse in front of the sleigh. A maniac on his heels, a dog humping his leg. They pull entertainment out of the sight like hairs from a head. Ruler is demanding a punishment for the criticism, a censorship, a banishment for the sickness of the singer. Disgrace as a cure. Fames are undressed. New demands of the ruler. <gasps> Wags a finger at the ruler. Prisoner stocks and shackles are shaken off like dandruff. Sings his hand at the end, at the public pyre. Even even though uh, even though is pointing a finger only at his mirror. In other words, he's pointing at himself. Was loaded with milestones. Was drowned in the depths. Not even a thanks anymore. The criticism isn't allowed to live. Wow, is that a is that an, a, a biblical illusion? Well, was loaded with millstones. I think that that is, but I also do think that there's references to like the emperor's new clothes. This oh. idea that there's obviously something that's off, and how dare anybody say it? And if you do, you'll be punished. Yeah, yeah. The the line though about drowning with the millstone yeah. is a uh, is. Jesus said, "If you cause one of these little ones to believe in me to stumble, it'd be better for you if you tied a millstone around your neck and threw yourself into the sea." Mm -hmm. Um, yep. So so yeah, I want. What year was this written? I don't know if it says it here. I feel like this is probably. And it doesn't tell us because that was when it was submitted, but that doesn't mean. Yeah. Hi, well, when when did this? Well, if this was about? written twenty twelve, if this was written in twenty twelve, then it's not about Trump. But I mean, holy hell, it could have almost fit Trump to a T. The way they, the way that they were talking about it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but what what did Trump do to? You know the emp. Well, you've read the story, right? The Emperor Without Clothes. Yeah. So you know it, it's a story of this guy who has absolute power, who's a fool, but nobody around him dares to tell him that he's a fool mm -hmm. because he'll kill him, right? Or mm -hmm. or there'll be serious consequences. I mean, Trump is that kind of guy. Well, <laughs> it's not like Trump is is. Trump loves to surround himself with yes men who are gonna, you know, yeah, he doesn't want people who are like gonna challenge pool. him. Nobody wants to look like the fool because if they said that they didn't see the clothes, only fools couldn't see the clothes. So if you were wise and whatever, then you would. So the king didn't want to say he couldn't see the clothes because he didn't want to be looked at like a fool. And a bunch <laughs> of other people were doing it. And then finally a child was like, he's naked! And then everybody was like, yeah, I'm not seeing it either. And yeah. Then, oh, okay. This song came out, definitely came out in 2012. So, um, but yeah, Trump, Trump, Trump is that type of guy though. Like, yeah. But see. Agreed. The thing is, the thing is all of us are that type of guy though. Yep. Not, not many of us, not many of us 
wants to hear criticism 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 or any kind of criticism yeah yeah most people most people <laughs> jesse <laughs> jesus is the original swim with the fishes gangsters yeah <laughs> beep with the clip if not you can get shot sleep with the fish um yeah good job Je jesse yeah like that's the thing is that most of us nobody's gonna come out and say yes i want to be surrounded by yes men but most of us don't want to hear a constant flow of criticism. Most of us right. are not going to interpret right. that. Most of that are not. Most of us are not going to interpret that and say, "Oh yeah, that's a that's that's good. Thank you so much for helping me." You're not right. going to do that. You're going to get you're going to get defensive. You're going to get angry, and yeah. you know. So like, yeah, exactly. it's easy to point to a guy like Trump or maybe some other horrible ruler or whatever. But this is clear. Like, you're. Right here, it says censorship, banishment, punishment for the criticism. Mm -hmm. You know, th that's the whole... Like, when people say cancel culture, I have a hard time with it because I feel like the phrase is too simplistic. Because the stereo... Like, it just depends... And it also depends on who's doing the quote-unquote canceling. Yeah. So when I was coming up, it was religious you know people oh yeah boycott this boycott right winger that. yeah who were yeah. burning the maryland manson cds didn't yeah. want to give them freedom of fresh freedom of expression freedom of speech they didn't care mm -hmm. uh and then you know they didn't care about his first amendment rights they wanted to cancel him and now obviously that's flipped the people doing the canceling are obviously not you know evangelicals and i was just watching this this uh Thing on Twitter, I gotta jump back on Middle America. I'm missing way too many ep episodes of Middle America, but there's this one guy that was speculating on MSNBC that people who traffic in disinformation should be arrested. It's like, okay, now you're crossing a real line. It's one thing to say, yeah. I'm gonna randomly deplatform you because you said something I didn't like, it's something completely different. Now you're talking about putting people in prison, and this is airing on a mainstream news site like MSNBC. Yeah. yeah. Like, that shit is crazy to Plus, me. Plus, don't you think that, like, there's... I think that there's times that people intentionally spread disinformation, but I think that there's times where people... They're not intentionally doing it. They, they thought they did the research, they thought they had the information, and it was wrong. And then the other thing, too, is, like, remember when they, they stopped, they, they blocked... Oh, Oh wow. um, my lord, my mind, I can't remember it. They they stopped somebody there was a news place that was actually putting out like true information and then they silenced them that turned out what they were saying was true. Uh, the New York wasn't it the New York Post? New York Post. Yeah. Yeah. It was the New York Post. They they did the Hunter Biden but they, they obviously they obviously desperately wanted to, you know have a certain kind of outcome with the election. Yeah. And they did not want a repeat of the James Comey letter that happened to Hillary like a week before we were supposed to vote. So that's what they did. And, you know, it, people are fine with it because it was a candidate they didn't like mm -hmm. and because they bought into all the nonsense propaganda that Trump was this uniquely horrible person when he was just a run-of-the-mill politician. I mean, he yeah. wasn't, you Yeah. Know, I mean, honestly, the worst thing Trump ever did was at the very end of his term and all the January 6th nonsense. Yeah, but, that was pretty... But, like, so... Bad. Like, people are okay with it because they've been taught to hate this guy. They These people hate Trump. You know, the guy went from having a popular reality TV show, which meant that all of us were watching him, to he's, like, the worst person on the planet mm -hmm. immediately. Mm -hmm. And, like, because of that... People were okay with censorship. They were okay with people being deplatformed, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. And, you know, some of this stuff is just ridiculous. You know, you got a guy, Scott Ritter is a UN weapons inspector. To this day, he's off of Twitter because he questioned the 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 party line narrative about what's happening in between Ukraine and Russia. Yes. Like, this shit is getting like yeah, out of hand. It, it's yeah. getting out of hand. But the problem is is that a lot of millennials, a lot of young people, they're not really familiar with history. They don't understand the implications or the ramifications of what that means. And so because of that, they're, 
they're completely fine with Stalter and speech. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, you got a, you you got you got companies coming out specifically and saying no, we don't no free speech is not the ultimate value of this company, mm -hmm. and I want people to feel safe and all the rest of it. Like, what do you mean? Like, that's the thing that gets me about the internet. It's like people say, oh, I want this to be a safe environment. Yeah, we leave the environment. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you don't like what people are saying, just leave the environment. Mm -hmm. um, but now, you know, there is serious punishment for criticizing the government, and you have people who are claiming to be lefties. I don't, I don't believe they're lefties. I, ju I just don't. Um, but now you got got, and, and it's mostly young people who don't understand history and don't understand. Mm -hmm. Um, what happens when you give government power? Right, right. They don't get it. Yeah. Um. So, we've got at least two more songs after this one, seven. Um. And then look, dis you know, disgrace is a cure. So now there's all this. Oh, you know, they, they try to try to shame people for shit that they said like 10, 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. But you know, honestly though, the same thing happened with uh, Jordan Peterson recently. Yep. He tries to shame this girl. That's so weird he it, did that. It was so mean-spirited. He's like, I don't care what you say, this is not beauty. The girl had nothing to do with him. She didn't say anything. She wasn't bothering him. She didn't say anything about him. But Jordan Peterson had this weird... There's something wrong with him. Because he was like, they're trying to get us to redefine beauty. And if they can do that, then, then nothing will stop them. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? Like, no. Something's wrong with you. But... What happened was Jordan Peterson puts this thing out here, insults this girl out of nowhere. He could be her daughter. I'm so surprised. He could. He I'm could. Surprised. She literally. She literally could be her his daughter. Mm -hmm. And so a bunch of people were like, "What the fuck? That's not right. Like, what are you doing?" He comes back and says, "This is a toxic place. It's horrible. I'm leaving Twitter." It's like, bro, you, you were toxic. That. Yeah. But but he he. It's clear he can't. Um. He, he can't deal with any sort of criticism. He feels that he's the only one that's supposed to be able to criticize somebody. It's like, and, and the dynamics of a dude, a very popular dude with like 3 million followers on Twitter, the dynamics of him singling her out and saying, you're not beautiful. Yeah, I understand she wasn't he was, even asking she had nothing his to, opinion. Correct. She had nothing to do with it. Yeah. But, you know, th this, this is where we are. This is what happens. So... Now he's like the king without the clothes because yeah. he can't take any criticism and now he wants to act like he's the victim when in reality he's the perpetrator. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean he could have used himself cuz he Jordan Peterson is not objectively an attractive person. Mhm. Mm well, he could have I mean, just used his own face. He's got 5 5 million subscribers. I mean, he he is massively I, I wonder but if he took down I wonder if he took down the tweet. He probably did. At least you said that his followers were like. Oh yeah, a lot of people went after him for that. Even 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 famous right wingers went after him for that, and rightly so. It was horribly mean spirited, and you know, but th see that's why I'm saying like you don't need cancel culture, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because he basically canceled himself. He couldn't deal. He couldn't deal with the ramifications. Uh, there it is, right here. So he goes, sorry, not beautiful, and no matter of authoritarian authoritarian uh tolerance is going to change that yeah. why so so you're not man enough you're not man enough to deal with the criticism but you're okay with going after this girl who who who, who did nothing to you not even that bad either exactly exactly so um it's everybody it, it and, and like it's not i mean Trump is to me the most extreme example of it, but this is another one of the and millennials are another example. But then you got people like Jordan Peterson; it's another example. And the point is, all of us are like this. None of us wants to hear criticism. Yeah, we all want to censor people and punish people for saying something about us because we're all so. It's he's obviously insecure and mm -hmm. doesn't, you know, and doesn't feel like anybody should go after him. But I mean, you know, it was actually I was surprised. That even the big name right wingers, I'm talking about Ben Shapiro's crew. Yeah. There's a guy from Ben Shapiro's crew that went on record and disagreed with him. That's pretty significant. Um, so you should be able to say whatever you want, but this is you know how people say free speech has consequences? Like that to me 
is 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 the pinnacle of how that's supposed to work. Mm -hmm. You go out there and you say some dumb shit, mm -hmm. and even your friends look at you and say, says, well, yeah, hey. yeah, your friends look at you and say, nah, bro, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The, 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 and and then what happens is he doesn't want to hear that, so he canceled himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the way I'm good with that kind of canceling. Yeah. I am not good with you said something I didn't like, so yeah. now we're gonna yeah. deplatform you. That's not the same thing. Um, I really, really like the song. I, I really like the song. Okay, uh, look, look at it? look at Jess. J Jesse said Jordan crossed the line there. Clearly, the girl was curvy, but definitely beautiful. He's probably pre nineties. No, uh, no ass skinny girl with big boobs guy. <laughs> I, I I agree. I agree, and that that does betray a certain cultural bias that he has. Uh, yeah. He he believes that you know whatever. So yeah, good for him. He got what he got. Uh, go ahead. Uh, what do you give it? I really liked it, and it was a live show. So the live show is is good for a point. To nine dot eight. Ooh, my, it was a nine point two for me. For May. For May. There you there are, you are. There dear you listener. Go. We have more songs next. I think Middle Earth uh, selection. Is on the way if Middle Earth is still here. Middle Earth, hear us! He hasn't said anything, but he 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 got a he bought a stream. We shall return, dear listener. We're coming right back to you, beautiful people. <laughs> 